Welcome to Momentum Indoor Climbing. This video will introduce you to our world-class bouldering areas. Bouldering is the easiest way to start climbing, and our facilities will take you from day one to experienced climber. Each boulder problem starts on either one or two tagged holds and follows the same colored holds to the top of the wall or a marked finish hold. Unmarked bouldering is allowed in the roped climbing areas when the climber's waist stays below the first lead bolt. In the dedicated bouldering areas, the start tags display the difficulty of the boulder problem using the open-ended V-scale, which begins at V0 and currently ends at V16. We love the social and athletic benefits of bouldering, but understand it carries inherent risks. Minimizing those risks is the top priority at Momentum, and we would like to introduce some of those risks while guiding you to a fun and rewarding climbing experience. Risk mitigation begins before you get on the wall. Read the bouldering area rules posted in each gym and ask a staff member if you have any questions. The adult bouldering area is restricted to climbers 12 and older unless they are directly supervised by an adult or youth program coach. Some gyms feature a top-out boulder which has specific considerations. Never run on the edge of the boulder and always use the defined down climb. Never jump down from the top of the wall or the boulder. Ensure that your fall zone is clear of hazards such as water bottles or other climbers. Momentum uses continuous padding in its bouldering area to reduce falling impact, but this does not guarantee the prevention of injuries from falls. Pads are generally designed to minimize head injuries but they are not necessarily designed to mitigate extremity injuries, although they may do so. Preview your problem, looking for conflicts with other climbers already on the wall, and identify your down climbing route. Momentum uses rings near the top of the bouldering wall to assist your down climb. Down climbing helps reduce the impact of a bouldering fall and is recommended for all climbers. Keep in mind that holds can spin or break, causing unexpected falls. All bouldering falls are ground falls, which can result in injury. These injuries can be severe. The best way to minimize your risk of injury is to fall in a controlled manner and land in a dynamic position. The first action of a falling climber should be to spot their landing. Widen your arms and legs to maintain balance while bending your knees and elbows. Land on flat feet to avoid rolling your ankles. Tuck your arms and chin as you land to avoid whiplash or landing on your arm. Absorb the fall with your legs, rolling to your back or side. Never reach for the ground with your arm or attempt to land on a single leg. Spotting is a technique for controlling a climber's fall. While not required at momentum, spotting can be helpful in several situations. When spotting, try to prevent a climber from falling inverted, prioritizing protection of the head and neck. Spotters should maintain bent knees and elbows while keeping their thumbs tucked in. Do not attempt to spot anyone larger than yourself. Spotters are useful for ensuring that a climber's landing area stays clear or to warn others of a climber's landing zone. We are thrilled to introduce you to the exciting sport of bouldering. And remember to ask our friendly staff if you have any questions.